The thing is, this Lego one is probably the most mainstream Tolkien video game, and yet also the weirdest as a Tolkien adaptation. We will see how far we get into it before I just get tired. Okay, so the fish bones I don't want to collect. I want to throw a real fish at him. Oh, okay. I see, and then I want to rope him up. Why are these fish bones the most deadly weapon I faced? I couldn't find where I was supposed to go to get more fish, but I think that was partly because my camera rig was blocking the part of the screen where I could see where I could go. So that's not the game's fault. I see, now I have a fishing pole. Ho, ho, ho. Now I can throw a fish at Gollum and then get him with an elven rope. Now I only got to do this one more time, I hope, because this is boring. Yeah, I know you're dying, Frodo, but there's nothing I can do about it at this juncture. Oh. <laughs> now suddenly Frodo's holding Sting to Gollum, even though that's not the action we just saw. It's funny how many parts of this game like try to replicate the action the characters actually do in the movies, and then how many just like, oh, now it's in cutscene. Leg of Gollum, he's dragged along by a rope. Good Smeagol always helps. But bad Smeagol does what he wants. The Taming... The level's called Taming Gollum, but the chapter in the book is called The Taming of Smeagol. And that's one of those just, like, minor differences. Like how the Mary Poppins sequel book was called Mary Poppins Comes Back, but the sequel movie was called Mary Poppins Returns. And it's like, it's just different enough that it makes me wonder that it's like, there had to be a reason. I'm guessing this is one of those, like, we have to follow the specific trail Gollum leads us on. Otherwise, where do any of us have a thing that can carry water? A frying pan full of water. <laughs> nope, can't jump around the fire. <laughs> and Sam is at a point where he will just respawn in the fire each time, which is perfect. There we go. There's a bucket. Okay. We're not going to finish the two towers, but my goal is to hopefully at least get to where we meet up with Aragorn again. Aragorn and Gimli and Legolas in Rohan. Well, I displaced those birds from their home, but now there's a little bit of water I can use. If this was real physics, there wouldn't be any left by the time I got to this bog. Gollum, why are you leaving fires everywhere you go? Why is it like you're farting this fire out? Hold your fucking short, your fucking horses. It's not my job to show you the meaning of haste. Fire in the middle of the bog. Okay, well, that's a Gimli crack. But I don't have no Gimli. Yeah, it doesn't help me to know what Gimli can do right now. There's a well over here, but I don't know how to get actual water in it. If you leave a hobbit alone for two seconds, they will drown. And that's just the reality of it. Wait, could I go around this fire this whole time? Nope. Even though physically it works, gameplay-wise it doesn't. This part is stupid. All right, I'm going to look up a walkthrough. There's a switch. That one of the lilies on the right. Okay, I definitely stood on that and nothing happened already. So so the fact that now something did happen, I'm going to assume this game glitching out. And I don't know if that's the fault of the game itself or just the emulator, but either way, not fair. <laughs> Putting out the fire killed Sam. I know what Gimli can fucking do. I don't know what dead fell beast this is, but I like it. So. Once again, putting out the fire killed both of us. 
there, we made a fountain. That's it, right? We're done. <laughs> now that was just cruel. Uh... Black Riders! Don't we don't we both have elven cloaks? <laughs> I like that the elven cloak just has me in disguise of a plant. So I unequip the elven cloak as soon as I like do anything or step anywhere or jump or touch. A plus cloak design. So is this just waiting it out for the Nazgul to pass overhead? This really is a hurry up and wait level. All three of us have to hide and because I took control of Sam once he stopped taking control of himself. I set this log on fire while Gollum's in it. Oh. I was supposed to keep Sam standing on that lock. Fuck it. I got I gotta backtrack in a way that's not fun. <laughs> So no, we're calling we're calling it here. That's this is the inauspicious end of Tolkien Adaptation Month live streams. I accidentally bypassed the thing you're supposed to do, <laughs> which should not be possible in a children's game. But uh, maybe I'll pick up this game again someday. But it won't be for a while. <laughs> um, there was fun stuff in this game. This is definitely the best game I've played this season. But it's still got plenty of padding and tedium. That was a fun experiment in daily-ish streaming, which is something I've never really done before. And maybe we'll do again someday, but uh, we'll see. Uh, not Definitely not for a little while. Um, thanks to everyone who popped in for any of the streams. Some people were here for most of them. Some people just popped in occasionally. But thank you all for joining me for this. Uh, I wanted to do something special for the final Tolkien Adaptation Month, and I thought... Streaming a lot would be uh, a way to keep it special. Um, there will be at least a Patreon stream in January. But, uh, you know, we'll see what the future holds. Um, if there's anything in particular you'd like to see, if you'd like me to continue LEGO Lord of the Rings in the future, even when it's not Tolkien month, let me know. If there's any uh, big Tolkien game I've missed that you'd like me to play in the future for, you know, non-Tolkien adaptation month streams, let me know. If there's any game at all you'd like me to play, let me know. I make no guarantees that I have a setup capable of playing it, but I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, thanks for joining me all this month. Thank you all, and this is Dave signing off. Mm -hmm.